Hi guys, today uh, I want to talk about sizes because uh, when people ordering my bag jobs they often questioning what size do I need to buy and I saw some companies providing the guide like this bag drop probably for a half a size, this bag drop maybe for full size portrait, this bag drop maybe for family portrait and stuff like this I don't think it's right uh, the reason is we don't know which lens do you shooting. So, for example, you can have maybe um, 130 centimeters backdrop and successfully photograph a half body portrait, maybe more, with 7200 lens. But, for example, if you're shooting 35 millimeter and it's your style um, to shoot 35, you will be struggling with even 180 centimeters. So, 130 centimeter backdrop, you might successfully photograph a half body with lens 70 to 200. But if you will buy 180 centimeter backdrop, but often you're using uh, 35 millimeter lens, um, that could be a problem because uh, you will need to um, work on the Photoshop to add a little bit of backdrops on all the si on both sides because 130 millimeters will not compress this backdrop. It's all about compression. As long a focal length, uh, as big a compression is. So um, I've been photographing with 70 to 200 successfully, uh, more than half body portrait, and it's fine. You know, other question. <laughs> is a budget. So, do you need a big backdrop? What do you photographing? Do you photographing families often? You might need 20 to 270 centimeters. Do you photographing um, maybe only headshots? I, I know a headshot photographer was successfully photographing headshots with 100 centimeter uh, wide and 130 centimeter long backdrop. So, my smallest one. And they they happy with that. Uh, if you're photographing couples, you might need 180 centimeters. But look, for example, you might be uh, not often photographing uh, families, but sometimes. Uh, also, you might like stacking the backdrops, and you might um, like to have ability to extend the backdrops to longer, like, you know, wider, um, extended wider. So, why not to think about buying maybe two backdrops? For example, you can buy 180 centimeters wide and 270 centimeters length, and you might want to buy 130 centimeter in a similar color or same color. And uh, if you need to, you can use two backdrops side by side and you have one big backdrop. But also, you can stack them in the corner. So that way, you can stack them in the corner and use the corner. Or you can make some kind of stacking the backdrop. So you can put one over the another one. There's lots of possibilities with two backdrops. Um, I think it's more versatile and better than one 270 backdrop. Even for me, it's better to sell 270. I will make more money um, and quicker. I need to paint only one backdrop. So um, yeah, it's quite. It's up to you what you will choose. But it's um, it's your decision. I just giving you an options what you can buy and what you can achieve. If you will buy 270 centimeters wide backdrop, you will put it basically on a on a stand somewhere on a, on a backdrop system and it will be there it's a fine option for this for the studio photographers it's cool and good uh, but if you like stacking the backdrops and uh, you might want take them away with you on a shoot on location if you uh, want to put one backdrop over another if you want to move backdrops uh, from place to place in your studio. If you want to play more with the backdrops, might be your options to buy two or three backdrops in the smaller sizes 
and you can stack them and combine them together or even if uh, I, uh, even if you buy complementary colors um, backdrops for example you can buy um, maybe olive green and pink backdrop or something like this they uh, and depends obviously what what your model will bear so you need to choose you need to uh, speak to the model as well what what it will be wearing and stuff like this so what are you shooting sometimes people shoot only um certain style very colorful and stuff like this so you're buying maybe colorful complementary color backdrops and you're using them as you wish you can stacking them you can put them together you can you can extend the back make the one like a kind of big backdrop with two uh, two backdrops so say if you stack uh, if you put one to one 190 and 130 that you will have to 310 centimeters um, wide backdrop well if your studio is not big enough you can use them like that and you can adjust the wide as you need and you can make the backdrop wall to the wall so that's the beauty of the uh, putting the two backdrops together and uh, 270 it's fine it's good option don't get me wrong but um, I think for the smaller studios a smaller backdrops is better more versatile you can put them together you can make kind of uh, look studio bigger with textures with uh, putting them um, in interesting shapes and stuff you know uh, playing with the backdrops and uh, that's cool so I hope that I answer your question this video uh, is a bit longer than the previous one about installments but yeah I think is uh, uh, is um, very useful for you so thank you very much for watching and I will create some more videos later on. Thank you. Bye.